Car animation in Unreal Engine is really tricky. It should have realistic behavior, imitate physics, and have some parts with limited movement, like calipers for example that should only be affected by steering and suspension. Now all of that can be achieved with my new plugin, One Click Car Control Rig, which I really wanted to be very beginner friendly and help you easily create control rig for almost any four-wheel vehicle even if you are not a professional animator. You can download it right now completely for free from the link in the description. And if you want to be on the top of Unreal Engine automotive industry, check out my Unreal Masterclass. There I share all my knowledge on animation and rendering and also provide the best-in-class car rigging solution, which was used on multiple projects I've worked in. Hi there, Post Processes here, and this is a follow-up for my Ultimate Car Control Rig tutorial, which may be a little bit complicated, especially for beginners. And with all of those nodes, recreation, and sometimes Unreal just wants to screw you over for no reason, and nothing works. So I carefully gathered feedback from the comments and addressed most crucial points of this modular rig. There's already been some cool videos done with it by Brad Bacon, for example. And in this tutorial, we'll go through car preparation and installation of one-click car control rig plugin, starting from Blender skeleton creation to simple animation. And that will be much faster than the previous one. Let's get into it. This time, we will not be using this poor Ford Mustang model. I wanted to get something better quality and rig it from scratch. I found this free Audi A7 model on CG Trader and going to use it for demonstration purposes. If you would like to jump into Unreal Engine right away and check out this plugin, in the zip folder which you have downloaded by the link in the description, you will also find Unreal Ready FBX model which is already rigged, so you can jump to this time code on the chapter plugin installation and continue watching from there. And for those of you who would like to rig it themselves, or for example you would like to rig other car, you can stay here and we'll start with Blender. First thing which you need in Blender is an add-on called Unreal Engine Vehicle. The download link is in description. Save this zip file on your desktop for example and in Blender navigate to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and click Install. Select zip file you have downloaded and press Install Add-on. This will save us a ton of time. I have it already installed. Make sure after installation it is ticked here. You will find add an interface on the right panel. Now let's import our Audi FBX model. Click File, Import, FBX. First we need to face our model to right direction. It should be facing X forward. Select everything by pressing A on your keyboard. Select Rotate and by holding Ctrl, rotate the car 90 degrees clockwise, so when you click on X-axis, the car is facing front. Now let's move it to the center. It's not crucial to have it perfectly centered, but just makes it more comfortable to work with it. Now our car is facing right direction and we can continue. This model is prepared really good and has proper hierarchy, but meshes are not merged. All of the wheel parts should be merged together in order to use our add-on the most efficiently. So right-click on the wheel part in the collection and click Select Hierarchy. Now press Ctrl-J on your keyboard to join meshes, so your wheel becomes one solid part. Do that for the rest of the wheels, select Hierarchy and join the meshes. In our case, calipers don't require merging as each of them is a single piece. Also merge the body as we will have separate controller for it, it should be a single piece. Now we need an object for our root bone. Click Add, Mesh and select Cube. Don't scale it and hide it somewhere inside the car so it is not visible. We'll use this only for root bone placement for transforming the whole car position and body separately to imitate suspension.
Rename your body mesh to car body. For some reason, Unreal will mess up bone naming if the model has the geometry named the same as the bone. Mesh is prepared and now let's use our add-in to create armature. Use eyedropper icon in the add-in and select cube we've just created for the vehicle base. Then the same way pick front right wheel, rear right, front left and rear left wheels. When all parts are picked, click set unit scale and after that upscale object as Unreal uses centimeters and Blender uses meters. Now click Rig Vehicle. After that you will see the base armature. It only contains wood bone and wheel bones, but we also need body and caliper bones. Without them the control rig will not work, you always have to add them. But don't worry, it's simple. Switch to edit mode. Select wheel bone and press Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate the bone. If you move your mouse, you will see that the bone was created. Right click on your mouse to snap the bone to the original location. This will be our caliper bone. Do this for all four wheels the same way. Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate the bone. Right click to leave its original position, as caliper bone should be in the exact same place as the wheel bone. Now let's rename those bone to CFL, which will stand for caliper front left and etc. It should always have the same bone naming as Control Rig relies on those bone names to work properly. Do this for all new bones we've just created. Next, navigate to Bone, Relations and Set Wheel Bone as parent to each of caliper bones. CRL should be parented to RL, CFL to FL and so on. Now let's make the last bone for body. Again, pick wheel bone and click Shift D to duplicate it. Name it body. We need to snap body bone to the same position as our root bone. Switch back to object mode by pressing tab on your keyboard and select cube we've just created. Press Shift S on your keyboard and click cursor to select it. Select armature and press tab again to get into edit mode. Make sure body bone is selected. Again, press Shift S on your keyboard and click Selection to Cursor. Done, the whole bone structure is complete. Now let's assign vertex groups to our newly created bones. In object mode, select body, press Tab to enter edit mode. Navigate to Data tab and press on plus icon to create new vertex group. Double click to rename it and type body. Those vertex groups should have the same name as the bone you want to assign it to. After that, press Assign. This is important, don't miss it. Now select Caliper, again, enter Edit mode and repeat the process. Create new vertex group. For front left caliper, name the group CFL and press Assign. Do this for all calipers. Now for every caliper and body, check the modifier. Make sure that your calipers have the modifier armature. If it doesn't, click Add modifier, armature. Make sure checkbox vertex groups is ticked. See, it was pretty quick. Now let's check that our new bones affect the geometry. Select armature or click on any bone and switch to pose mode and move the bone to see if it drags the geometry with it. And one last thing before exporting, let's make sure that normals are fine and we don't have any issues when importing into Unreal Engine. Click here on Viewport Overlays and choose Face Orientation. Red means bad for Unreal. So select the wheel, press Tab to enter Edit Mode and with all geometry selected press Alt N on your keyboard to invoke Normals menu. Click on Flip. 
Switch back to object mode and select caliper. Again, enter edit mode, press Alt N on the keyboard and flip normals. Do this for all red parts. Now that's perfect. Let's export it. Click File, Export, FBX. Give it a name. For my example, I will name it SKM Audi. Set X forward and Z up axis. In object types, select armature, mesh and other by holding shift. Uncheck bake animation. In armature, uncheck add leaf bones. In geometry, set smoothing to faces and make sure apply modifiers is enabled. Hit export. As we have our model prepared, let's launch in Real Engine, install plugin and create a control rig. But just a reminder, this plugin will work only with Unreal Engine 5.4 and above. It will not work with 5.3 or any version below. When you launch Unreal Engine, you will have this welcome screen with the project templates. I usually select Film and Video, Blank Template and enable checkboxes for starter content and ray tracing. Give your project a name and hit Create. We have empty project and now let's copy our plugin to project folder. In the zip file, you will find Plugins folder. Copy it into your project folder, not content, just root project folder. To quickly get to a project folder, select any asset in your content browser. Right click it and select show in explorer. It will open project folder, in my case it's content. Open project directory and paste plugins folder here where the project file is. This plugin is dependent on control rig modules. So head back to Unreal, settings, plugins, look for control rig modules and make sure it is enabled. And just in case, let's enable skeletal mesh editing tools that might be needed. Enable it and restart your project. After project restarted, here in plugins check that vehicle rig module is enabled. This is our plugin. Next step is importing our car model. I will create new folder in content and name it Audi. Just drag and drop your mesh into the content browser. Here you don't need to change anything, just click Import All and wait for the import. It may take some time. When it is imported, double click on the mesh. Make sure all looks good and body bone named body. It shouldn't be named body 1 or body 2 or car body. If the name of this bone any different from the body, click on edit bones and edit skeleton. Make this bone named body. So if it is body 1, just remove the number and click accept. Next step is to check that all bones function properly for all calipers and wheels. When it's all good, save the mesh. Now it is time to create the control rig. Right click on skeletal mesh, create modular rig. Double click on control rig asset. Now drag vehicle rig module, hover it over this point which has five sockets and drop it on root. Not root control, not any other connection, just root connection written in white. Don't worry, that's expected result. I have prepared necessary controls to align the car properly. Use these variables on the right to align car with the ground and adjust body position so it sits properly with the wheels. Hit compile and save. Now to align it with the ground properly, move this rig window to the side and drop rig into the scene. As local and global collision may differ, you would need to adjust it looking at the rig in your scene. Just change the ground adjustment value so the car stays perfectly on the ground. Body alignment variable is meant for adjusting body position if body bone is not in the same place as the root bone. Sometimes that may happen and you need to move your body a little bit backwards or forward. 
In our case both bones are in the same place so we can leave it at zero value. Other controllers are very intuitive and self-explanatory, steering makes will steer and calipers follow the steering. Wheel rotation is not automatic, but I keep researching into this matter and update the rig when I figure out how to do that in control rig. It's so much easier in blueprints than in control rigs, oh my god. And lastly, the body controller. A lot of people in the comments mentioned that they would like to animate body separately and not only procedurally, in order to add some feeling of mass to the body. This controller is set to rotator and limited to few degrees so you won't break it much. You can add some body roll and pitch and control rig will still react to bumps even with some additional Buddha movement that we will add. Now let's make the simple animation. I will use simple transform from point A to point B with linear keyframes. Now I will enable keyframing on value change and add some wheel spin. Create camera right in the sequencer make it focus the car and also change its position using linear keyframes. That's very simple animation. If you'd like to add some bumps on the road, there is a simple trick how to do that. Create a sphere, Set it to actor hidden in game and place those spheres just a little bit above the surface. Don't overdo that or your wheels will be noticeably detached from the ground. Copy paste those bumps over the entire car path imitating uneven road surface. And this is how it looks definitely more natural. This is very cheap and easy way to animate that. That's how I did this animation on the car driving on the bridge. But if you need more complex animation like this one, you would need to use camera rig rail spline to achieve this result. I've already explained in details how to do that in my other videos, so don't hesitate to check them out, all the links are in the description, and hope you will enjoy this easy car control rig. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, that will help me to create more videos like this and more plugins, hopefully. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.